All right, so we're getting ready to do another ROV trip into a large flooded iron mine. And it's believed that the mine actually connects under the town here to another mine. But none of the maps from the 1800s show this. All sorts of stories pop up about the mine. So we're gonna try to confirm if the mine does connect to a second mine under the water using the ROV. So let's see. So Mike, you got your uh, your five fish, yep. and you have a backup five fish. Yep, got the five fish, backup five fish, backup trident. Okay. And we got the new 656 foot tether, so we should be able to go pretty far. I'm really excited because we're going to be going down, what at least what 100 feet probably, and yeah. then out probably 200, 300, feet. 200, 300. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get far. We'll see what the conditions are with the mine, uh, but it's exciting. Maybe we'll see artifacts too. Uh, this is uh, going to be a fun day. I think the tether's got to come off. Yeah, the tether's got That's all right. All right. It takes two seconds. So That's a tight squeeze. On. So we're getting the five fish set up. Um, I'm right now going to get the tether attached. This is our new 656 foot tether. So we're going to go be able to go a lot further. If you hadn't seen it the last time we were out, we actually hit the end of the tether we had, 328 feet at a different mine. So uh, we upgraded to this brand new tether in this mine. We're hoping we're going to be going down about 100 feet into uh, a shaft and then after that we're going to follow a passage 200 300 feet or more on to see what we can find there may be collapse there may be artifacts there are tracks in that particular area we're hoping that maybe we might see a um a skip car uh, for the tracks we don't know what to expect but this is a mine that is, has a lot of potential for a lot of great finds artifacts and also answer a question of whether or not the mine continues under the nearby city and possibly has a shaft that goes up. There's suspicion that it connected with another mine in the area. So we wanna see if we can answer that question. Um, and no matter what we find though, I think we're gonna have a really great run today because there's so much potential of so many things we can see in this mine. Okay, now just put it straight down that hole. Um, you, you're going the wrong way. Which way am I going? You're going under. You're going under the false floor. You're, go, you're going under Rico. Here, pull oh. it. Pull it out. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Don't, don't, don't. No, I can see you. I can see you. I'm, I'm gonna pull you out. Is that okay, Mike? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, you are back to the middle. So. Hold on, let me get oriented. Yep. All right. Now go. So go straight down. Now. Straight. Yeah. Keep it straight. Perfect. Shaft somewhere because you kept you did keep like kind of meandering off yeah. into the snowflake. I mean, you should be able to tell that he's straight. There's a false floor and the tether are going straight up and down. From the there it is. So let's go up again. Let's see. Take a look at the pull back some of the tether. Just not pulling the tether in there. Okay. Pull it. Pull it. Take a lot more. Figure out what's going on. So 
Yeah, well, honestly, if you just go far down again, you look kind of uncomfortable. I think I'm from low, though. I think no, I'm just trying to see where my tether is. I don't trade no. But if you keep going down to the point, then the rope will pull its bottom. We need you. There is a, another way around this. We did this one before. We'll try to all right, pull, pull it up. What's that? Uh, it's pretty tight. Right. I do see it. It's not terribly far down. But I do see the tether going down further. Come on, don't do anything. Alright, it's a tether hooked. Since we know that getting down safely collapse, we can come back when it's yeah. clear again and go under the floor and um, see where that goes. Uh. Well, we're going to a section where it's hopefully we can go do a little more exploring with the last bit of our battery. This is probably the most extreme launch for an ROV yet. Yeah. <laughs> Waste deep water. All right, so let's see if we can just use this. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, then we can start it up. All right, so the 27%. A little bit further than it. Do I see something? Yeah, you want to go over that one? Go over. There is another beam. Oh, yes. They go higher. Go over. So it's a little lower. So yeah, we're at like a, a point where it's we're at a slope of a pile of stuff. Yeah, that kind of what the, the, the map shows. We're going down. Look at that. You're going. Wow. Maybe this is the place to go. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's we're going down. We're going down. Oh, all right. Let's turn around. It's will give me the warning. So let's let's get out of here. Stop pulling the tether back. Step on back. No, you're like, you're completely free now. Like, you're just gonna pull it? Yeah, pull it. All right, well, this is something we definitely get, should come back. Yeah, and let's come back and do this one. This one, and again, with team effort, we were able to get it out of that trap and get it back up to live another day for another bit of exploration. Oh, I think the last one has a, a lot of potential. It's too bad we didn't have enough battery, you know, when it popped up at 20%. Uh, definitely had to turn around, but I definitely think we should come back to give it another run, see how far that one goes. That one seems like it's at less hazard, so it would be less stressful than our first run. It has a lot of potential for a lot more depth. That was quite a challenge, but you know, what I like about that is Every time we get a challenge, we figure it out, we get out and we move on. And it just keeps building my confidence that, you know, with, if we do this right, the more we learn that I don't think we have to worry about losing the ROV and we can keep pushing deeper and deeper into these mines with confidence because we know how to handle those situations.
I never miss that stack. Taking big swings, jam to the back. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag. Cause I sing what I mean and I bring it to the mad life. Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail. I took a red pill. I know life's short, so I wanna live real, but how's it supposed to feel?